Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's March 17, 2011. And I'm down at the Morning Star Mill here on DQ Road. It's not open today, but it is open on the weekends. There's a museum inside and a grist mill. And you can see down a 200 foot drop with the stone. And I'm just viewing this waterfalls here. Still see some snow there. Here there's a waterfall coming from there. A little step here. Isn't that gorgeous? I love nature. See the waterfall. Listen to it. Okay, over to the right here, that's a blacksmith shop and they actually open that up and show you how they make the horseshoes when it's open. Here's the homestead, they've turned it into a museum and then here is the grist mill and there's Harry and Clyde over there arguing as usual. Here's the museum. There's the hours. And there we go. Oh, and that Brady. Look at that. That is the waterfall. There's another waterfall over there. And if you go further down, it's about a two hour hike from here all the way down to the bottom. This connects with the Bruce Trail. <laughs> Seems to be my forte. And you can follow the trail all the way along there, down to the bottom of this gully. And you'll see another little tiny falls, which I'll add the photos to this video footage. So it's a beautiful day. It's around five o'clock. If you notice, thank you for daylight saving time. It's bright enough to take some decent photos. Time and walk the dogs down here. It's a great place. I like listening to the birds. You hear the birds? Usually there's geese. This is the back part of the house here. There's a water treatment plant next door. It's kind of funny, eh? The old, old homestead. From, this was actually built around the time of the Welland Canal. Uh, back in the 1800s. I don't know if this house was built in the 1800s or the 1900s. I haven't really looked it up. But I do have it on my website. So you can take a look on there. There we go. And this is the back here. We came here at night once. Found kitchen. There's the outhouse. Can you imagine using that for your wash? birdhouse. This is actually part of the Bruce Trail here. If you follow the trail, it actually goes along at the back there. You can go and it connects to there's a, a water big piping system going from the top of the mountain, the escarpment, down into St. Catharines. And there's also a biological growing area for Brock University that this trail connects to. So it's got a lot of cool things. You can go, a lot of people come here with their bikes. There's like a bike trail, like regular bikes, not dirt bikes. But uh, they didn't have, it's fun. You gotta try it out sometime. It's cool to go to 